Joe Desitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 10 rounds of lightweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Magnifico's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. He's coming down to the ring right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 rounders. Locks it away. Magnifico's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. through round number one. Magnifico's movement helps out there. He avoided that punch. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, Put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Watch that punch. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Magnifico's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Oh, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Showing you some defense there with the block. Snaps that jab out. Good block there by Magnifico. <laughs> Half 
halfway through round number two. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Wow, is he defensively sound. Magnifico's proving to be elusive. Solid left hand to the head. Ten seconds to go in this round. Round comes to an end, and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. And round number three is underway. Magnifico is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And he ties up on the inside. <laughs> really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice block by Magnifico. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot final 10 seconds the jab works good when you use it you don't use it enough jab, jab. keep on him don't give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches off You need to throw more punches out there. You got me? He's out. You're stronger than him. Magnifico's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. A good block. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Hey, you gotta see that coming, now. let's go. Yeah. That's it, just like 
Halfway through this round here. Keep moving, keep moving. Headshot lands was a hook. And he's holding. Punch! Punch! You got this one! There you go! Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Magnifico's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top. To because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up the punches. I want to see combos. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. A power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Magnifico's clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Uppercut! Unload! Unload! More punches! Right on the mark with the hook up top. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Nice round. That was good. Keep that up if we have this one. Where's your body work? Hit the body! Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Okay, listen, you can throw him off with some head movement. And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Able to get rid of that one. Good right hand. 
Magnificos putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities. Holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. A stabbing right hand comes in by Magnifico. Now he ties up there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Magnifico is showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Keep working the jab. Fires right back at him. Keep it going. Stay away from those. Come on. Magnifico's punch didn't come close. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that count up. Make him pay for his misses. I need you to box him. Wait for him and boom! Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Watch that. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. It's like a light switch just went on. All of a sudden, he's the aggressor now. Oh, well, it's like your parents came in the room. And they put that switch on. His corner, not his parents, told him, get on this guy. Keep working, nice work. nice work. Magnifico's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Hey, you got something to do. Let's go. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Okay, keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. Keep on this guy. Keep hunting him down. All right? Cut the ring off and move him into the ropes. I want you. Yeah, 
You know, I get the sense as we open up this eighth round that he knows exactly where he stands right now. He's slightly up on your scorecard, but you can see he's got a little pep in his step. Yeah, and he has a choice to make. Do you just stay in? Really, this is what separates guys sometimes in anything we do out there. Not just boxing, but does he just stay ahead now? Does he just slightly stay ahead? Maybe the other guy catches up then. Or does he look to go after it? Does he look to close the show? Take more. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches. But the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, you should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? I mean, your feet would have to stand where you could hit the ball where your feet are pointing. That's the problem. His feet are crooked. They're pointing the wrong way, and his punches are going the wrong way. The halfway point of round number eight. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. That's it, just like that. Uppercut. Keep Thought he had his target, but Keep way off to the side with the uppercut. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. I like the way he looked at let's the end go. of that round. It looks like he's wait. gaining some momentum you here. Fight, Good competitive fight. Let's get and I do out. believe that he's up on the scorecard. Yeah, I have it the same control, way. Son. You need to take control. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Yeah. He missed with that headshot. Body. Body. Really frustrating his opponent now. Magnifico is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Halfway through the ninth round. You're doing great. Finish with the hooks. Got hit, but he sends it right back. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Able to dismiss that body shot. Last round, okay? This is it, last round. Finish the spot, okay? You don't throw punches, 
I'm gonna stop this fight. Now, come on, keep throwing punches. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. Oh, it's been a good one tonight. But one more round to go. Here it is, the final go round. He just missed that shot up top. Blocks away that headshot. Now hugging on the inside. There you go. <laughs> Able to land with the right. Sort of like a loaded gun, that straight punch there, Teddy. You can see him lining it up and then just releasing and hitting that trigger. Yeah, you're right. A loaded gun with a nice long barrel that makes sure that the bullet, in this case the punch, goes nice and accurate. Straight ahead. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Yeah, that's it. Magnifico is able to avoid that punch. Keep moving, keep moving. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Throughout the night, right up until that final bell moments ago, both these men tried to determine their fate. But now it's in the hands of these judges. The pressure now is truly on the judges because this is the kind of fight where you need talent as a judge, you need discipline as a judge, and of course honesty to get the right decision here. That's a well-earned victory by Magnifico. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. That doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.